five mistakes that beginners make in the gym. Mistake number one, being too technical. Counting reps, counting sets, you know, approaching it very technical instead of putting in hard work and pain at the end of the workout. I don't think we should be figuring how many reps we did with how much weight. I'm, although that's one way to judge progress, I think we should know that we worked out hard when the muscles destroyed, forcing adaptation. Tip number two? Not touching your chest on the bench press and not going to parallel on the squat. If you don't touch the chest or if you don't go parallel, there's absolutely no excuse. Whatever you think your excuse is, it doesn't count. Zero. Tip number three uh, is don't avoid the hard exercises. You might avoid something like a, a squat or a deadlift because they're hard, but you gotta learn them sometime. And what better time than in the beginning when you can use compound movements to tie all your muscles together because they work like an orchestra. And if you use compound heavy movements that are painful, that hurt, then it's gonna force your body to work together and build core strength. Tip number three. If you're using the same weights and doing the same amount of sets and reps this month as you were doing six months ago, you're not making any more gains. Tip number four is uh, don't work out depleted too often. You really do have a much better performance when your muscles are full of glycogen. Now they don't always have to be full at every workout, but for the most part, usually you should be going in the gym with a full tank of fuel so you can push harder and, have, and work out more sets, with more volume, with more weight. Tip number five, if you want to develop a complete physique, when you're doing your exercises and your compound exercises, make sure that you're moving the weight with the uh, target muscle. So for example, when you're bench pressing, make sure that you're not just trying to push that thing from your chest up to the lockout. Make sure that you're actually moving the weight by flexing your chest as the main mover. And those are our five tips for beginners of uh, mistakes that they make in the gym and or the inverse, which is the way to do things correctly. Be swell and swole, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution, coming to you from Enhanced Athlete Gym.